I'm gonna tell you one thing that's outdated that you need to ditch. And that is creating your website on a platform that doesn't help you to get paid if that is what your goal is. We don't have time for that. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about the differences between Contra and Wix so you can determine what platform is the best for you. We like to do things quick around here. So high level, we are gonna talk about the differences between building your portfolio, getting clients and managing your work and becoming more discoverable. So to set the stage, what is Wix? So if you don't already know, Wix is a cloud-based website builder. They offer domain hosting, templates, photo galleries, e-commerce capabilities, and a bit more. One thing that helps Wix stand out is that they give the ability for their users to move elements on their website to any place on the page. So it's highly customizable, and we'll get into that. Now, Contra, very quickly, essentially is a freelance marketplace where we have freelancers and clients who are hiring those freelancers. You can highlight your best work, services, and recommendations, manage your projects, communicate to clients, and get paid commission-free all in one place. Now, today, we'll specifically be talking talking about portfolios by Contra. If you haven't already, be sure to check out the video that we created around this topic, because this is what we're gonna be comparing to Wix's website builder. So the elements, building the portfolio. Quickly starting with Wix. If you're someone who's not a designer and you just want something simple for your website, right? It's more about the functionality, then Wix might be a little bit much for you because you have to learn all the different tools that help you customize your Wix website. And trust me, there's a lot. Wix also has featured apps that you can embed into your site, but those most of the time cost an extra fee, which again, results in you just paying more money for a website. The thing about Wix, and from someone who's also built a website using Wix, is that it is highly customizable. I mentioned that earlier. And sometimes having too many customizable options actually hinders the efficiency of creating your website because all of a sudden you've moved one element, you've changed one color, and then before you know it, 20 things are different. You actually started with a template and now you've created something of your own sorts. Now, on the other hand, with Contra, building a portfolio is supposed to be the easiest thing that you could practically do. And that is exactly the way that we built it because we listened to the community around us and it was very obvious that building a website was not an easy task. And having a website is a huge, huge element of anyone's freelance business. Again, you should check out that video because we go really in depth about how this works. But essentially, once you create your free Contra profile, in one click of a button, you can auto-generate your new portfolio website fueled by Contra. Now, when I say auto-generate, I mean auto-generate. Everything that you've created on your free Contra profile is moved over to your new portfolio website so you didn't have to do extra work. On top of this, we already have design templates and themes, so you don't have to be a designer or a coder to have an amazing looking website. You can just look through the different templates and themes, and then you can even customize those to have different fonts, colors, even your logo, connecting your custom domain. There's so many elements to this, and again, the idea is that it is simple. And to read more, we'll have some blogs linked below. Now let's move on to the second element, getting clients and managing your projects. As a freelancer, you can have an amazing website, amazing work, but if no one can see it, no one can find you, what's the point? So when it comes to Wix, they're primarily focused on the tool of building a website, not so much helping you get clients and get paid, which is totally fine. That is not truly their mission. So that means you can decide, do I build a website on a platform that doesn't help me get jobs and clients, or do I build a website on a platform that does. They do offer a partner program where freelance web designers can earn points for every website that they design for clients. And pretty much that's as far as it goes when it comes to earning on Wix. Now with Contra, it's a bit different. When it comes to getting clients, we have an amazing job opportunities feed. So you can actually scroll through and look at the different opportunities that are the best fit for you. In your settings, you have your work preferences section where you can set out exactly the type of job that you're looking for. And when you go to your opportunities feed, those type of jobs will be present. You can also filter through the different types of categories like design, engineering, marketing, and the list goes on. And the wonderful part is that you apply directly through Contra. So when the client sees your profile, they see the best work, your services, and then get in touch and do all the work directly on Contra. Another element of getting clients on Contra is that we actually match people to remote job opportunities. And all of our remote job opportunities are high paying. We never allow a job that is below the value of $25 an hour. And we match those based on those same settings for your work preferences. So be sure to really go in there, check it out, 
turn on your availability as well because we want to know who's available for work so we can match those people to jobs in priority. When it comes to managing your projects, this is one part of a freelance business that can be a headache. Contracts, invoices, payments, all of those elements are scattered among a million different applications, which means you have subscriptions that you have to pay for, and it just becomes a headache and it shouldn't be. So on Contra, we allow you to do all of that for free. We have contract templates, we have invoices, you can get paid commission free, you can message your clients, everything you need to actually manage your work is there. And the last element is being discoverable. On Wix, there's simply no discover feed. And obviously as a freelancer, we've mentioned this a few times, you need to have your work seen to get hired, to make money, to make a living. You get the point, you, you, you get the picture. But on Contra, we actually have a discover feed. Now the way this works is important. We surface the highest quality profiles and portfolios on our discover feed. So I mentioned portfolios by Contra. Be sure to check out that video that we created because the people with portfolios and high quality portfolios get pushed to the top of the Discover feed. Aside from that, people who have high quality free profiles also get prioritized. Another element of being discoverable on Contra is turning on your accepting new clients toggle. I just mentioned this, but you can do this in your settings and it is the ultimate way that people can tell if you are available for work. Because on the Discover feed, clients can actually filter by that toggle. If they're looking to work with someone today, they wanna see the people that are already today. And aside from all those elements that are already baked into Contra, we have an amazing community and we're always matching independence with high quality jobs. And we have a relationship with our community. So be sure to check out the Discover feed. We'll link it below because that is one of the ultimate ways to be found as a freelancer right now. Okay, we'll keep this short. That is the high level comparison of the two. I would say as a former freelancer, I would have the goal in mind to really condense the places where my work is living, where my payments are happening, where I'm finding clients. The more you can condense, the easier your life is. You don't have to be checking a million platforms, a million notifications, it's too stressful. So if you have questions about anything we chatted about today, please drop it in the comment box below. Be sure to check out the blogs. We also were linking some videos. We have a ton of information on our YouTube channel. And if you found it helpful, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, of course, because we're gonna be putting out more videos on freelancing, on you know the client side of freelancing and hiring freelancers, and it's all a free, valuable resource for you. So do that, and we'll see you around for the next video. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the internet.